Holy Spirit spitting fire for 100 degrees. Pastors don't know how to lead the loss, just give them to me. Pastors don't know how to lead the loss, just give them to me. But I feel like a lot of times in church, people be so focused on the people that's already got that relationship with God, already know who God is and already following God. And the people that don't know Christ, the people that's on the street, the people that's drug dealing, scamming, OnlyFans girls, feel me? A lot of times, them the people that get lost. So bring them to me. Y'all don't know what to do with them. Bring them over here to Demon Killer Gang. I got you. Told sin just like a luggage. Think it's time to unpack today. Told sin just like a luggage. Think it's time to unpack today. And when you're dealing with certain stuff that you can't get rid of, a lot of times it become heavy. So it's like baggage. People walk around with so much baggage on them because they're dealing with condemnation and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? From the stuff that we just deal with in daily life. So that's why I said I'm unpacking today. You know what I'm saying? Today. Preach the gospel to the burbs yesterday. We in the trap today. Preach the gospel to the burbs yesterday. We in the trap today. Literally, we taking the gospel everywhere. I done did shows full of suburban kids that never seen a trap, never held a gun. And then I got some shows where a street dude just walk up to me like, bro, I appreciate what you doing, bro. Like you showing us that you can love God and still be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Still hold on to your identity. I've been eating real healthy. Daily bread don't need a salad. I've been eating real healthy. Daily bread don't need a salad. Daily bread is what people refer to as the Bible. So if you eating the daily bread, you eating healthy. And I real life have been eating healthy lately, down 23 pounds. You feel me? I'm a, yeah, yeah, we gonna get on that. I ain't tripping by no Jezebel today because my girl say. <laughs> I ain't tripping by no Jezebel today because my girl say. I'm big on the whole women's empowerment movement. So I ain't gonna say nothing crazy, but this world is wild. Like I know y'all seen that new lip gloss line that just came out. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna say too much, but I know y'all know, know what I'm talking about. You feel me? So that's the whole Jezebel pretty much just referring to women that's not trying to get close to God. They trying to lead you the other way. Respect to them, I'm praying for them. But that's just not, that ain't my story. That ain't what I'm dealing with right now. Thanks be to God. They told the gang they gotta wash their mouth. They saying dag nabbit. I told the gang they gotta wash their mouth. They saying dag nabbit. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like the Bible talk about like, when it, when it boiled down to cuss words and all that, like people would say, you know, why, why why make a big deal about that? But the way I feel about it is like, when it boiled down to it, how can you praise God and in the same tongue, like curse somebody else? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, people slip up. Everybody got their day. I ain't saying I'm perfect, you feel me? But at the same time, gang, watch your mouth. We saying dag now. I don't need a church. I start revival in your parking lot. I don't need a church. I start revival in your parking lot. And I mean that with every bone in my body. I don't want a church. I don't want to be your pastor, your bishop. I I don't want a church. I don't want to be responsible just for everything that comes with having a church. But I will start a revival in your parking lot if, if you know what I'm saying, if you book me for the right price. I will come and start a revival in your parking lot. Literally, the next show I got to do will be in the church parking lot. It's an outside event. So that's that's real rap. God tell me move, then I move. I don't park a lot. God tell me move, then I move. I don't park a lot. Literally been my whole year this year of God saying, go this way, don't go left, go right, X, Y, and Z. So it's like when you walking with God, God is a progressive God, you feel me? So a lot of times you're not going to be at a standstill. And if you are at a standstill, it's for a reason. When you had those seasons of feeling like you're not progressing, nine times out of 10 is your fault because God is constantly moving, not changing, but he constantly moving in different things and moving different ways. That's why we have different seasons. Y'all see the rap game change every couple years. The fashion game change every couple years. You can't park moving with God because you never know where you're going to take it. Told me that you went to kill a demon. He ain't dropped you. Told me that you went to kill a demon and he ain't dropped yet? Y'all cat. I'm tired of all y'all running off with the, oh, I kill my demons, I da 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 I X, Y, and Z. Some of y'all don't even know what that means. Y'all just think it sounds sweet. And y'all gotta do Christian rap and you can't talk about killing your ops, so you take that as an easy way out. That's not why we doing this, bro. It's a real meaning behind killing your demons, gang. You really gotta wake up every morning and say yes to God and no to the devil. And yes, some days it ain't gonna happen. But please stop capping to y'all music talking about you waking up and you killing demons and he ain't dropped yet. You still walking in unforgiveness and you hating on your dog, but you talking about you killing demons. You you cap, you can't you need to stop rapping. Bringing Christian drill back to the streets, the only hope. Bringing Christian drill back to the streets is the only hope. I ain't gonna lie. That's how I feel because in the Christian rap game, it's a select few of us that is an advocate for the streets and a bridge between the streets and the church, but it's not a lot of representation out there. So for me, the way I look at it, bringing Christian drill to the streets, that's the hope, man. I ain't gonna lie. They said the church is locking down. I'm giving them keys. They said the church is locking down. 
I'm giving them keys. I don't want to be your pastor, but at the same time, people is like getting tired of church structure. You seeing even pastors come out on interviews talking about how they can't stand church structure. I heard somebody say something one time. They said, if Jesus walked into our churches nowadays, he would be confused. And I feel like that is 100% the truth because we, a lot of times the church don't operate how it should, in my opinion. You feel me? So if the church is locking down, shoot, I'm going to give y'all some keys, at least the keys that I got. And I'm still learning too. But as I continue to learn, y'all continue to follow me as I follow Christ. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy DKG Kai, and that's been my word in the city. DKG just dropped a single, baby. You ain't captured. Spilling holy water, drip is hard. Bring a mop back. Huh? I ain't done preaching either. Got some money. Casting all my demons out. I look around like where they go. Being Christian drill.